We're going to talk about how to find the surface area of a pyramid. And so remember what area means. It means that you're basically, you can think of it as you're covering something or you're painting something. So how much paint you need to cover it. Surface area just means you have a three-dimensional object. And so you can think of it as you're going to paint the whole thing. So what is the total paint for all of the sides and the bottom and the top, if you have a top, um, for that object? So when we're talking about a pyramid, and so most of us are familiar with the pyramids in Egypt, that's exactly what we're talking about here. And so when you think about surface area, you can think about if we're going to essentially paint all of the sides of the pyramid and the bottom. So remember, this is resting on, on a bottom. And so we're going to have to also include that. That's what this formula is. So the formula is given to you on the formula sheet, so you don't have to memorize this, but you need to understand it in order to apply it. So here's the formula that is given to you. Surface area, SA, is 1 half PS. So when these are right beside each other, that means multiplication. So 1 half times P times S plus B. So what do these mean, these letters? So P means perimeter of the base. So the base again is the bottom. So here we have a pyramid. It has four rectangular sides and then a square on the bottom. This formula means that all the sides in the base are always going to be the same. So in this case it's going to be a square. So in order to know what P is, you need to know how to find perimeter. So if you don't know how to find the perimeter of a square or a rectangle, you need to watch that video. So essentially though, perimeter means the distance around something. So the base, remember, is this bottom thing that the pyramid's sitting on. How do you find the perimeter of that? All you do is add up the sides. Since each of the sides is going to have equal length, you can take one of the sides and multiply it by four. So let's say that each of the sides is three feet. So the back two sides are three feet as well. So here, the perimeter of the base, you add up the sides because it's like you're trying to put something around this. So it's three plus three plus three plus three, or you can write that as three times four, whichever whichever makes most sense to you. You can add three four times or just multiply three times four and you get 12 feet. That's what your P is. S is slant height. So it's important to know this because they may try and trick you here. There is a height of the pyramid and the height of the pyramid goes from the top straight down to the middle of the base. That is the height of the pyramid. We don't want that. That's not what we want. We want the slant height. The slant height goes from the top to the middle of a side. So it's like it's coming down the face of that triangle to the middle of this. That is the slant height. That's the number we want. These are going to be different. The height is how tall this thing is, which you measure from the top down straight down to the middle. The slant height is how tall this side is, which is going to be different than that. So make sure when you uh, do the problem, you're using the slant height, not the height, because they may give you the height just as a distractor. So let's say here, the slant height is 8 feet. So that's just going to be given. I'm just going to say that's 8 feet. So we have P is the perimeter, S is the slant height, B means area of the base. So here you need to know how do you find the area of this square. Area of a square, area of a rectangle, is length times width. 
So 3 times 3, that's the area. If you don't know how to do area of a rectangle or a square, you need to watch that video on Facebook as well. So the area of the base is just 3 times 3. Remember when we write two numbers in parentheses beside each other, it just means multiplication. So it's 9 feet squared. So, what is the total surface area of this pyramid? It's one half times P. What did we say P was? 12 feet times S, which is a slant height. That's 8 feet plus B, the area of the base, which is 9 feet squared. One half times 12 times 8, if you do that multiplication, you're going to get 48. You can do that with your calculator. So 48 plus 9 is 57 feet squared. Remember this is an area problem, so your units are always going to be squared. So square feet, feet squared. So if you were given this pyramid and asked to find the surface area, this is how you would do it. You just figure out what is P, what is S, what is B, and then just plug those numbers into the formula. So it is also important to remember what we are doing here in this formula so you can manipulate this if you're given something a little bit more challenging. This part here, one half perimeter times slant height, is giving us the area for the sides, the triangle, triangular sides of the pyramid. So this 48 that's the surface area for those uh, four triangle, triangular sides. So for all uh, four of them. The uh, B area of the base is obviously giving you the surface area for the bottom. So if the problem says find the surface area of this pyramid but do not include the base, let's say you're going to paint something and it's sitting on the ground. Well you're not going to paint the bottom. So you need to know that you don't need this part of the equation. You don't need the area of the base. You just need the area for these four sides, four triangular sides. That's given by one half times perimeter times slant height. So in that case, it would just be one half times 12 times eight, which we got to be is 48. So you need to understand this formula. This is the base of the bottom the area of the base, which is the bottom, this part of it is giving you the total surface area for those four triangles. Because if you look at this, if you just look at one of the faces, right, all you have is a triangle whose height is eight feet and whose base is three feet. What's the area of this triangle? It's one half base times height. That's one half three times eight equals twelve. So if this triangle is area is twelve, that area that this front face has the same area of twelve, the other face has the same area. Each triangle has the same area of twelve feet squared. There's four of them. That's forty eight. So that's really where this number comes from. All you're doing is calculating the area of each triangle and adding them together. But there's a quicker way to do it by using parameter and slant height. So again, just remember this first part before the plus sign is giving you the total area for the four sides. This is giving you the area for the bottom. We'll do one more problem that's a little bit more computationally challenging. All right, let's say we have a pyramid whose, um, whose height is 480, whose length of each side is 755, and whose slant height is 610 feet. Now I didn't write down the first thing I said, the height is 480, because remember, we don't need that number. We don't need the height, we need the slant height. 
So if your problem gives you the height, you don't need that. What is the surface area of this whole pyramid? So again, we do the exact same thing. 1 half P. P is the perimeter of the base. I'm just going to do 755 times 4. You can do 755 plus 755 plus 755 plus 755 or 755 times 4. This is 320 feet. Slant height is given to us, 610. The area of the base, again, the base is the bottom, 755, it's length times width, 755 times 755, and that is 570,025. Oops. 25. So, what is the whole surface area? Surface area equals one half times perimeter, which is 3020. So I'm just plugging these numbers into this formula. Times the slant height, which is 610, plus the base, which is 570,025. Remember, you always, to do, always have to do multiplication before you do addition. That's the order of operations. So what's one half times 3,020 times 610? You can plug that into your calculator. You're going to get 921,100. Plus 570,025. You add these two numbers together with your calculator. You're going to get 1,491,000. 125 square feet. If it said don't count the bottom, what's the surface area of this without the bottom? We're just concerned about the sides of the pyramid. Remember, we just take off this part of it, and our answer would then be 921,000. That's the surface area of the four triangular sides. It's the surface area of the pyramid without the bottom.